We start with the ongoing efforts to keep our roads safe. The state's red light safety camera pilot program is already more than half a year in, catching thousands of people who run the red light. Jim Boniza has the latest numbers in a story new tonight at 9. Tiffany Morimoto lives in McCulley, and she says she sees people racing through the red at the intersection of McCulley and Algaroba all the time. It's like, yeah, you kind of wish there was more police presence to see it, but I guess that's why the cameras are here for. She's in favor of the red light safety cameras. Personally, I think it's going to help. It'll make you think twice about what you want to do on the roads, whether it be for your safety or those around you, so I think it's good. According to numbers by the Department of Transportation, since the red light safety camera pilot program started in November of last year, a total of 6,311 citations have been issued at all 10 of the locations. 557 of those at the McCulley and Algaroba intersection in the last six weeks alone. It's caught red-handed. Eudora Farr lives on Algaroba and says it's about time people face some consequences for their bad driving. A lot of cars don't follow the traffic laws and run the red light or they don't stop like they're supposed to and wait at the yellow light. While she's in favor of the program, she doesn't like that the registered owner of the car is automatically stuck with the citation. When a car is cited for running the red light, it's the car owner that gets the ticket, even if they weren't the one behind the wheel. It's the person who's driving the car that's to blame, not the, per not the car itself. The car can't drive itself. So far, according to DOT, two people have contested their citations and lost. Several others were also trying to fight it. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.